Hello there, people in the and love again. I am David Melty and welcome back to another part of my uh, Let's Play Zoo Tycoon 2 kind of building the world zoo. In the last episode, we built this small exhibit over here for the Red Fox. In this episode, we are going to build something completely different. We're going to go over here and build the aviary of European birds. We've already have actually have one by accident that I. Uh, accidentally put up here. This is the white pelican, which is one of the birds which is going to be uh, featured here. I actually accidentally uh, put it up uh, somewhere, so <laughs> I didn't want to, to like throw him away immediately, so that's why I put him in that. Anyway, uh, the aviary is going to go here. It's going to be uh, like a, a wooden building. I'm imagining a wooden building in the center and then some cages around it. Three. Um, the path will go here, and then there, and there, basically around the thing. And then here will be another exhibit of the uh, European otter, and then it will go out here, where we will have perhaps like one or two more exhibits, and then Europe is done, and then we can go to the next continent. Uh, but yeah, in this aviary, which is uh, yeah, it's a bit different, because we ha I haven't built an aviary before in this series. So uh, it'll be a little bit different than uh, the usual... Uh, uh, exhibits, uh, but yeah, as I said, it will have three. Uh, I'm planning uh, like a central building where the the zookeepers go to, and then three cages on the sides where the birds are being held. One of which is, of course, for the white pelican. There's another one, uh, which is if I can find it. Is it in grass? No, that's that's the wrong one. Uh, oh, I could actually do one for a bat. Actually, someone mentioned that I should make a cave, like a cave, cave-like exhibit for the bats. So that's something uh, for Elsa, maybe, because there are also some other. Uh, you know, there's a hare here, and so. Anyway, this is one of the birds, which is going to go over here. That's already the Dutch name. I've no idea what the English name would be. I have to look that up. So that is one. Then we have the white pelican, and then we have another one, which is mountain. Here we go, the lamagire. So these four creatures, will, three, <laughs> three creatures, I mean, will be the ones that will be represented here in the uh, aviary. Then, as I said, there will be the uh, uh, otter exhibit over here. And then we will have, like, a couple more exhibits here. There was a, uh, a mouflon, which is like a mountain goat, which I wanted to put in here. Perhaps uh, one for the bats. Um, the hare has to go somewhere. Also, there's probably going to be like a small exhibit here for the hedgehog and also for the hare, I guess. Uh, but we'll see. But yeah, I wanted to make this thing first, the aviary, before I made these small exhibits in between to, so that I can judge the, the, the size a bit better. Anyway, let's give you this uh, for the talking part. I'll shut up and you can see the time lapse. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Hello, I'm Bob Ross, and I'd like to welcome you. First of all, let me take just a moment to thank you for allowing me back into your homes. If this is your first time with us, let me extend a personal invitation for you to drag out your oil paints and paint along with us each week. Let's go over to the canvas here and let's get started. I believe, I believe, every day's a good day when you paint. I believe, I believe, it'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart. I believe, I believe, Every day's a good day when you paint I believe, I believe It'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart Let's build a happy little cloud Let's build some happy little trees There are no limits here You start out by believing here You can almost paint with anything All you have to do is practice There are no limits here by believing here This is your world You're the creator Find freedom on this canvas Believe that you can do it Cause you can do it Give it a little touch Give it a little push Make love to the canvas Give it a little touch Give it a little push Caress it Very gently Grab it, lift it, fluff it You can go on and on and on Back and forth, back and forth, and forth. Layer after layer after layer. Let's build a happy little cloud. Let's 
build some happy little trees. There are no limits here. You start out by believing here. Is it your world? You're the creator. Find freedom on this canvas. Believe that you can do it. Cause you can do it. You can do it. Relax, relax, let it flow. Think like water. Think like water. Think like water. Relax, let it flow. You can go on and on and on. We don't make mistakes, mistakes. We just have happy accidents. You can do anything that you want to do. Total power. Sing along, have a good time. This is your world, you're the creator Find freedom on this canvas Believe that you can do it Cause you can do it Cause you can do it Cause you can do it I believe, I believe Every day's a good day when you paint I believe, I believe It will bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart I believe, I believe Every day's a good day when you paint I believe, I believe It'll bring a lot of good thoughts to your heart
Right, so here we are again with the end results of the uh, building. <laughs> um, it actually turned out all right, I think. I'm actually fairly pleased with uh, how it went. Uh, I, did run into, I did run into a little bit of a space issue. <laughs> um, because I was planning on making every exhibit the same size. Every part of the aviary. However, there's just not enough room here. Because if I expanded it right here, it would be inside of the... Uh, um, fox exhibit, uh, but eventually it didn't really need, wasn't really necessary. Sorry, excuse me, because it turns out that the uh, because of course I already knew that the uh, the birds uh, the apparently I've I looked up the name apparently it's called a hoopoo, H O O P O E, hoopoo. <laughs> apparently that's how you pronounce the name of that bird. Anyway, and it turns out that they are actually the, I mean it doesn't really turn out. I already knew that they were kind of small, so I thought hey. They will get the smaller exhibit because they're pretty small anyway. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I also like that it depicts four different... Uh, um, four different biomes. Also, it ha I've left some space... Uh, I still have some space here to squeeze in the uh, hare and the hedgehog exhibit, which I'll do in the next episode. I'll make the uh, hedgehog exhibit over here and the hare exhibit over here. I know it's pretty small, but I probably, I, I, yeah, I know it's pretty small, but I should be able, it should be fine here. This guy is extremely hungry for. Wow. Okay. Why don't you just like, like, like eat and stuff? He's going to eat berries from the hollow tree trunk with berries. Uh, oh, there it is. We'll help you. Let's see if it actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what's going on? There we go. For some reason that, that just happens. It gets, like, kind of stuck. Alright, let's see if this guy actually does... Uh... No, he just walks around in circles. Does he even eat that? Yes, he does. Eat! Come on! Okay, well, apparently he just doesn't know how to do that for some reason. Do the, do the, uh, where are they? Do the, uh, do the squirrels have the same problem or not? Where are the squirrels to begin with? There they are. They're close to here. Oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, they're... No, that's uh, nothing. Sorry, I'm sorry. I know I'm supposed to show off the uh, thing here. Is that a baby squirrel? It is. Oh, they've had children. Okay, so the squirrels do know how to do their stuff. Okay. I Honey Badger 70. Honey Badger motherfucking 70. These guys fuck faster than rabbits. I don't even want to know how busy the hair, uh, how, how busy the hair exhibit is going to look like. Anyway, uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, debatably, I could have reduced the size of this uh, center building to give the birds more room. But I also like the fact that I have like a pretty big inside area. So anyway. Um, yeah, so let's take a look here. Uh, this is the uh, this is the lag that you experience once you watch to the per area that I've already built a lot in, and that is the foxes that you can hear. Uh, so yeah, this is how it looks from the outside. I needed to raise up the the roof a bit because uh, uh, the ho the highest wall I had wasn't even able to reach up all the way to the fa to the point where the aviary would be fully covered. So I had to like make uh, an extra floor. And that's why I put the glass in there. And so here we have the, the pelicans. Of course, I had to add some uh, water elements uh, for them. Also, put them some rocks in some of these palm trees. These guys are pretty excited, the looks of it. But yes, yeah, I said, I decided to make uh, like a coastal area, a lot of water. And these guys seem to be enjoying it, all right. They're the, uh, hoo the hoopoos. Also, I squeezed a uh, donation box in there. 
I wanted to, uh, I didn't want to make the path too wide because otherwise, of course, I wouldn't have enough room for the rest of the animals. All right, so there they are. Look at them flying. <laughs> do you, do you guys actually also know how to do your stuff? Because I don't know. It's the first time I'm putting all these animals in in my life, so. Yeah, they're all right. He's only doesn't really like all the attention of all the visitors, but other than that, he's fine. And here we've got the Lamagire. Also, of course, is uh, they live in a. Oh, they are the guys making that sound. Okay. Yeah, I, I knew that these guys, of course, live in a little bit of a. Uh, they leave. These guys live in the Alps. Uh, so, of course, I needed a rocky area for them to uh, um, to, feel, to feel at home, of course. So, therefore, I made uh, like some hills around. I think it looks pretty cool. I had to be careful because I couldn't raise it too high. As you can see, it's already raised a bit too much. Uh, if you raise it too high, then the, the, low, the areas where the roof stands it will also be raised and then it doesn't align anymore. Which has already happened a bit, but uh, yeah, I can't really change that. <laughs> So let's go in here. This is like the area where the staff is. I gave every uh, bird a, a different uh, caretaker. So there we go. You can see uh, the lemon guys over here. Seems to be pretty nice. I of course put uh, I put all their like food and stuff over in their paddock, the inside area. Because uh, I wanted to give them a reason for actually going in there. Because otherwise it would just be kind of like stupid. <laughs> because they would just not go in here at all. Because all their food is outside. But I made it made it so that they would they had to go outside. I mean, I had to go inside for stuff. And I'll put all the toys and stuff outside. So that they will also have a reason to go outside. You know, same with the pelicans. They've got these big uh, areas where they can eat and uh, drink from. So yeah, that is the aviary, everybody. I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's doing all right, given the limited area that I had to work in. Uh, but yeah, I think it's all right. So all right, in the next episode, we will be filling up this area. I bet we will... Oh, that's a duck, by the way, just in case you're wondering what's going on there. That's a duck. That's just from... That's an NPC from the game. Uh, also, I accidentally like put some road here, but I cannot remove it, as you can see. So, that's just going to stay there forever. <laughs> anyway, uh, in the next episode, I will be fitting up this area. There will be the hedgehogs over there, and there will be the hares over here. I will put those in one episode, because you can see it's a very tiny area. It will be very tiny exhibits, so it would be stupid to make a, a big episode out of that. Um, yeah, and in the episode after that, we will be building here, uh, where the... Um, uh, European Otter is going to go. I'm going to make a bridge. It's going to go over it. Over the paddock where there's uh, water. And then we will have to. Then we're going to build some areas here with some creatures. And then uh, it's already done. Uh, the European part of the zoo. Then we are going to do the. Uh, well, another continent, which you guys are going to have to decide. Anyway, that's going to be for this one. I hope you always enjoyed the video. Click the like button underneath if you did. Subscribe to be part of the Roman army so you never miss any new videos. You can do that by clicking the subscribe button on the peel of the left of here or the subscribe button underneath the video. See you later, Romans. Ave.